Hey guys, thanks for checking out another episode of Ryan Knows Crypto. Today I'm going to talk to you about something crazy going on. This is the Petro ICO, pure scam, and I'm going to explain to you how the scam works. Alright, um, I was talking to one of my co-workers the other day and he asked me, I asked him what do I need in my stream to get more people. He said you need more cats, Ryan, you don't have enough cats in your videos. So you can see my cats here. Alright guys, so the, let's talk about this Petro ICO scam. Basically, Maduro, President of Venezuela, is doing an ICO. The ICO is going to sell 100 million coins tied to the price of Petro, or tied to the price of a gallon of a barrel of raw oil. Right now, that's about $60. $60 times 100 million coins is $6 billion. US dollars is basically the value of what he's selling. So what makes this so special? This is a coin that's tied to the price of a barrel of oil. Alright, big deal. We have Tether, we have other ones that are tied to the price of gold. What would make this coin make people want it? Well, here's where the scam breaks out. Now let me show you. He's already sold over a billion dollars worth of this coin and by the time this is all done He's going to sell somewhere between $3 billion and $5 billion worth of this coin. Website's fairly typical. Uh, just a regular ICO website. They talk about the Bolivar uh, roadmap. They don't talk about the team or anything involved in it. But if you know, I like to investigate these coins. And one thing I always do is I always look at the ICO. I always look at the white papers of the ICOs. So if you read the white papers, it's fairly simple. It's about 22 pages long. It doesn't really say anything typical or anything special. Okay, it just makes a lot of comparison to other coins and talks about what blockchain it's going on. Until you get to page 14 of the white paper. And let me read to you what it says. It says, the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela guarantees that it will accept Petro as a form of payment of national taxes, fees, contributions, and public services, taking as a reference the price of the barrel of Venezuelan oil on the previous day with a percentage discount of DV derivative. Let me tell you what's important about this. This is the single sentence, okay? It will accept Petro as a form of form of payment of national taxes. Well, how do they calculate this? Acceptance of Petro over the Bolivar equals the price of oil times the amount of Petro times the amount of Bolivar. And then this little right here, it says one multiplied by one minus one derivative or one deviation. If you scroll down here to note 19, this percentage discount DV is equivalent to the current discount rate at which the state sells Petro, which will be at least 10%. Folks, do you understand what this means? This means that if you live in Venezuela and you pay taxes, say you're a fairly successful businessman and you make $100 million and you have to pay the income tax rate of 34%, for some reason, or let's just say you're scheduled to pay $34 million in taxes in income tax this year. But if you pay with the Petro, you don't have to pay $34 million. You can pay 10% less minimum. If all coins are sold, it will be a greater than 10% discount. They don't say how much more. But you can go from paying $34 million in taxes to about $30 million in taxes. Okay. Who would not want to do that? So Maduro is basically saying, as the president, he's saying that the government, the republic, guarantees that it will accept this payment. Now everyone who pays taxes, so just imagine you're, you're rich and you want to pay your taxes. You go to your tax attorney and they say, well, we're supposed to pay 34 million in taxes. Let's just go buy $30 million worth of Petro, and then we'll use that Petro to pay our taxes to the government. So what you're essentially doing is taking $30 million, you're buying 
your Petro from Maduro or from the agency or the exchange that sells these tokens and on the same day you're going to sell them back to uh, the government or give them back to the government and then the government is basically going to end up with hundreds of they're going to end up with billions of dollars worth of this Petro coin that they're going to have to go dump onto the open market and they're going to have to exchange Petro for Bitcoin, Petro for Ethereum, then have to change Bitcoin or Ethereum for Bolivar or whatever currency they want to deal business with in their bank banking system. Okay, so just imagine if every one percenter in Venezuela now they'd be stupid not to use Petro to pay their taxes. So all the one percenters are going to give all their tax money to this basically ICO or these coins, buy these coins, and then use these to um, pay their taxes. What will this account for? This will be billions and billions of dollars. All businesses are going to use this to pay their taxes. All top 1%, top 10%, if they have a tax attorney, if they have H&R Block in Venezuela, they'd be crazy not to pay 10% less taxes by using the Bolivar. Or by using the Petro instead of the Bolivar. Basically, their, their broken down currency. So, I just wanted to tell you guys this. This is something that people usually don't read the white papers. And if they do, they probably didn't read this line here and make sense of what they were saying. If they sell all the coins, and they will, the, the discount given will be greater than 10%. Alright, so they're going to give out 38 million tokens in the pre-sale. Another 44 million will be made available in the public sale. And then the remaining 17% of tokens will be retained by the Venezuelan Superintendency of Currency and Related Activities. So, what's going to happen to this coin? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to make money off it. Uh, first of all, the coin's going to sell out like crazy. Because everyone's just going to use it to pay their taxes. You'd be crazy not to. The government is now getting a discount. They're basically going to... Whatever money they were getting, now they're getting 10% or greater than 10% less. Now, if, if United States received 10% less in taxes and government, uh, taxes and income tax, the entire government would shut down. Basically, all these countries that borrow money like crazy anyways, there's no way we could take 10% less in taxes or fees or anything, contributions and public services anymore. Um, so it's gonna push Venezuela further down into the dirt and then as soon as Maduro is out of office or the next president comes in, they're going to say, first thing we're going to do, Petro, debt it. We're not accepting Petro anymore for taxes. We can't afford to accept less money for taxes just so we can fund this Petro ICO. Who's the Petro money going to go to? It's going to go to Maduro. Uh, why would the government want to receive less money in taxes? They should want more money in taxes. That's the goal of government. That's how we pay for roads, policemen, firemen, public services. So they're going to dead the coin. So what's going to happen? The coin's going to go from being at whatever the cost of a barrel of oil is, $60, $100, $150. It's going to go goose egg to zero. My plan is I'm going to get on Polo only X, I'm going to get on Bittrex, I'm going to get on Oxygen, I'm going to get on any exchange where I can short this coin, and I'm going to put the full faith of however many Bitcoins it takes to take the largest shorting position I can, and I'm going to short this coin. And when it goes from $100 to zero, I'm going to make fat stacks. Uh, so that's how I'm going to make money on it. So guys, I would basically stay away from Petro. Um, this is a scam ICO. The only reason I would have it if I was paying taxes in Venezuela, otherwise I wouldn't touch it. It's the price is tethered to a barrel of oil, but you can never redeem it for a barrel of oil. Um, I don't know what I would do with a, a barrel of raw oil, anyways. I don't have a refinery in my backyard, and I don't know none of my friends own refineries, so I don't think it'll ever go above a barrel of oil. I don't see this coin could ever go up and I and when people want to sell it they're gonna sell it at below the cost of a barrel of oil 
and when people buy it they're gonna use it to pay taxes anyways this is basically a scam um, Maduro is gonna raise six billion or more dollars off of this he's not trying to be a millionaire he's trying to be a multi-billionaire and he's getting away with it why because he's the president and he gets to tell the government hey government you have to accept this uh, phony baloney coin and everyone's gonna use it and you have to accept it but as soon as Maduro is out of office this coin is going to zero that's a promise that's a guarantee all right guys uh, thanks for watching this video I know it's a bit long today but I was so blown away by this um, and can't believe that no one else sees what I see. Uh, don't invest in this ICO. Uh, you have nothing to gain and you have everything to lose because this coin will go to zero. It's basically going to drive Venezuela into the ground uh, even further than it is. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey, please check out the website. Please uh, like, subscribe. Please hit that like button, subscribe button. Look, y'all, I got cats. Alright, thanks for watching guys.